Oh no! Uh. Hello, everybody. My name is Hannibal, and welcome to Dispatch, where apparently I am a 911 operator. Uh, which is a terrible thing. What are you beeping? What? What is beeping? What is that? Yes. Hello? Hey there, son. I noticed that you haven't been filling out the reports on the calls you've been doing recently. Listen, I know that you must be pretty torn up about what happened, and... Like I said to you before, this isn't on you. No one's blaming you. He shouldn't have gone in the way he did. He should have waited for the right people to come and... Like I said, no one's blaming you for that. Now, just don't stay in all night again and just fill out the reports on your calls, okay? I hope you feel better soon. I'll keep in touch. Uh-huh. So this is like in the style of FNAF, except I take it that there's not going to be that much jump scares uh, happening behind me and shit. I just don't really know what to do with this. Oh, I have phones actually ring in this game. What? We need an ambulance, quick! Okay. He's going to die. Oh God, how could I let this happen? Useful, very useful to me. Who's going to die? Gus is. What happened to him? He's eaten a whole Snickers bar. I assume he's allergic to well, nuts. No, but. Dogs aren't supposed to have chocolate, are they? God damn it, it's a dog! Uh. Call a vet. Seriously? I... Buddy, it's a. It's a vet. It, it's, a, it's a dog. What the fuck are you. What? Severity. Cat stuck up a tree. Submit. Oh, I didn't- wait, did I just submit an incident report for that that I just logged in? Young man shot and killed an attempted robbery outside of a motorcycle store. Uh, woman was cooking pancakes for her partner and some butter splat- <laughs> What the fuck was that? I was just reading. Finally, yes. I was beginning to think I would never get an answer. Uh, this is 911. That wasn't much of an apology. What is the emergency? I am being forced out of this shop unwillingly. It's 3 a.m. We set an hour ago, man. I am a paying customer, and you cannot force me to leave. Uh, yeah, well, give me your name. You don't have the right to know my name. You called 911! Useless. I will be calling your manager first thing in the morning. Fuck, okay, I already know your first name, Karen. Sorry. Um. Okay. I, I assume that's what I was supposed to do. Also, if you guys assume that I'm going to be English in any of this, <laughs> you're wrong. This is actually kind of cool, though. I assume it's gonna get a lot worse. Uh, 911, what's your emergency? Hello? Someone is trying to get into my house. That's not good. It's 54 <laughs> Raymond Street. It's got to be my ex husband. He's been banging on the windows and calling out for me. He's not allowed to be here. Uh, yeah, is he being threatening? He's yeah. all the doors and asking to see her. Yeah, no. This is the daughter. Sophie? She's our daughter. She lives with me. He gets visits. Uh, I see. Get a unit. Ah! Oh, no! He's broken in. Tell him to hurry. How long are they going to take? Ah! Uh, no! Sophie, come on, where are you? Excuse I'm me? Going to give the phone to my daughter. Liar! Talk to him. 
Do you keep him busy until the police it show up? Stop until he finds her. Pass me to your daughter. What? Hello. Sophie, who are you? My dad is here. He said he was going to come last week, but he didn't. You know why he didn't? Um, I'm not sure. He used to live here, but they would shout a lot. Sometimes I think it was because of me. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, I think I fucked up. I was supposed to tell them that she both loved her. Uh. Oh, no. They're shouting again. Where are you in the house? I'm, I'm downstairs. In the living room. Don't be in the living room. Go to your room. But, but why? Why can't they just stop fighting? Uh, because if you are there, if you hide, they might stop. What? No. Come on, they all need to go upstairs. Oh, okay. I'm gonna run past them and go into my room. Run past them? <laughs> Sophie! Come here, you. Run past them? If you're in the living room. Stop it. Stop it. Let her go. Why? Why would you need to run past them? Your fault? Six minutes? Hello? Hello? Sorry for the abrupt cut, my dad brought me water. Watermelon. It's a very stressful job, okay? You're gonna need some watermelon. To keep me comforted. I was supposed to- Oh, I was supposed to distract him for six minutes! Is that really how it was supposed to go? I didn't- I don't know how any of this is supposed to go. Hey! What is the... Eight, nine, oh, nine. Eight, nine, oh, nine. Active line? I don't fucking remember. I- I don't even know. Where- where would I get that information? Was I literally supposed to be writing this shit down? What?! What's he doing? 
I can smell smoke. What? I think I think he's upstairs. Oh, all right, I'll I'll try. This is awesome, but this is terrifying. Oh, there's a fire! Oh my god, it's reflecting the dispatch! How is the cop not there? I'm sorry. Please come out. No! 54 Raymond Street. Go! Yes, yes, I, I can hear them outside. Okay, okay, go, yes, go. Please, please, tell them to help. Dispatch, this is unit 8908 approaching the property now. We need fire services here ASAP. Damn it, the fire is very intense. How is it very intense? Is that even cold? What? We might be able to get in and out in time if we knew which room she was in. Her bedroom. You leave your room and shut for hell. Ah, if she opens a window, that's so dangerous. Fuck. No, there's too much smoke. T tell them to come and find me. Ah, that doesn't help. Okay, I'm going to do it. Oh, Sophie! Sophie, please! I see her. Stay there, kid. We're coming. Is that... Did I do good? <laughs> ah! Why? <laughs> Come here, kid. <clears throat> I got you. The kid is fine! The kid is fine! Sit down! Sit down, Get Gerald! Here. Gerald, sit down! I did good, Gerald. That's so good! Two shoot games! I need more! I need more! I need more! I can't! This isn't enough! I need like a whole FNAF thing of this! This is amazing! Except there needs to be like more call- Oh my god! This is so awesome! Please! Oh! If- Two shoot games and- And thank you so much to everybody who was voice acting and the audio designers and- And the gameplay and every- It's- It's, it's really good. The- The creature being in my face that blatantly was a little much. But I, I promise you, like, th something like that, where there's consequences uh, to you not submitting this report, or you having to, um, you know, manage fire and police and all that stuff, and ambulance, uh, and then the horror aspects that you put in, like, with the billboard behind me and stuff like that, that would be phenomenal. This is an outstanding game. Like, this is something that I would, if, if I, I, don't, I don't know how you could, if this it was a senior project for your university, this would be amazing. Um, if you wanted to take this further and develop it into a full-length game, uh, I, I, I would take my money. Take, take my money. Because I can see the potential in this, and it's so well done for how short it is. It's awesome. I loved it. Uh, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you loved it, too. Uh, leave a comment below and let me know what you guys think. I really do think this is one of the better indie games I've played for in a while. In a, in a long while. Um... If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next episode of whatever it is that we're playing next. Peace.